Hey everybody, Keith K here and we are back with another sandbox video. Today we're going to take a look at the Dungeon of Dummies. And we can see here that there are five quests up for grabs in this experience. So let's go check it out. All right, and here we are in the Dungeon of Dummies. And of course, our first quest is Collection of Voxelite, and we saw this door just shut on us. So let's see what this guy has to say. A new challenger to face his dungeon. Are we up for a challenge? Yeah, we're up for a challenge. We have to find the wide portal located at the end of the dungeon. But first, we're going to have to get equipped at a basic level. So we're going to head in here, and we're going to look for a sword on the other side of the door. And of course, we're going to equip it. Once we've got our equipment on, there's a lever next to the table. All right, so let's see what he's talking about. All right, so we've got one of these little portals we can presumably respawn at. Here's our basic sword. Go ahead and double click on that to equip it. And we can see that it really doesn't add anything. Um, so it's more aesthetic than anything else. We've got our metaverse guide here. Let's see what he has to say. So he wants us to find the point of interest called the Wolf's Den. So just a single point of interest this time. Okay, and I see a wolf down there. So I'm gonna guess that's the Wolf's Den. Let's take care of that one first. Yeah, they don't really attack, oh, there it is. I'm gonna say they didn't seem to attack at all. You see that little red circle come up there preparing to attack. Let's make sure we're not missing anything. All right, so there's a black two. It's just that may want to make note of that. Uh, and there's our point of interest. There's a white two. So colored numbers are gonna, something we need to keep an eye on. Okay, so there's nothing more, nothing more down. Oh, there is another wolf spawned out of the den there. Don't turn your back while you're down here. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything else. As always, there's Valentina. She wants us to know that we can make an experience like this with the game maker from various templates. Okay, can't get in this door. These blue cubes are very intriguing. Okay, that's the voxelite. So what did this, this do? All right, so this activates this platform. Got a floating goblin, I think. Oh, there's that black too. Many adventurers have tried to find the code and failed, yet these single digits are the same color as the code sequence. Okay, so we've got red, blue, light blue, purple, and there's that black two that we saw earlier. So we're gonna have to keep our eyes out for those. And I always like to just make a simple little chart so that I can keep track of it as I go. Here we've already got the black two, so we'll add that to our chart. Now, let's see, there's no levers that we can see. This looks like a straightforward jump. Okay, so we've got fast moving platforms and blades. So this, all right, so there's a green and a brown, so I'm gonna guess this will stop this first one. Eh, that's not really a great spot. There we go. And for the brown one. No. Oh, shoot. Fat fingered that one. All right, perfect. Sweet, we got a bronze breastplate. Let's check it out. 
So this will give us plus 37 defense. We'll take that. Healing pillar. And a goblin fight. Let's see if we can dispense with her before she hits us. No. Okay, we got a bunch of them here. Got another chest right there. So presumably we beat these guys, we can get to the chest. Ah. There we go. Grab our voxelite along the way. Oh shoot, that's not cool. I surged forward right as I killed him. Oh, ha, <laughs> going the wrong way. I thought I came out back there. So this is also a uh, checkpoint, a save point marker, I guess. See if I can avoid falling in the lava this time. And yes, you always surge forward after you beat somebody. Let's see if that opened or if I need to find a lever. Nope, it opened up for us. What do we got this time? Bronze chaps. So that'll give us another 23 defense and some extra speed. That's cool. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. All right, there's a chest there. I guess we might as well pull this lever. Wouldn't be here for no reason. I'm not sure what it's gonna do for us. Let's check out down here before we go across those platforms. Or that's just the way out. Oh, we got a red three. Well, let's make note of that. I don't see any other numbers up there. That skeleton looks like he's alive. Or not alive, but <laughs> animate. And he's gonna live anyways. That's interesting. All right, we don't want him sneaking up on our back. All right, so we wait for this platform to come back. Well, that's probably what the lever did was activate this one. Oh, because it's not moving. Let's go check it. I thought we activated that. It wasn't doing anything. Unless it only does a certain number of times. Hmm. Oh, we may have to time it like we did the last one. Let's see. That'll meet it. Let's see if that works. Oh, I almost came off that. Yeah, perfect. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Let's give that another try. Yeah, the key was not doing a power jump. Thank you, Mary. I appreciate it. Okay, we got a bunch more here. So we got a little welcoming party there. Got a save point. Oh, he's got a shield. We have to destroy that shield, maybe. Get behind him.
Yeah, striking when he's striking didn't seem to do it. How about we ignore him? Aha, there's a key. Oh, that did break his shield, so we've got to do a power move on these guys. Yeah, that did it. So if you don't know, you hold down your left mouse button. That'll allow you to do a... Oh, there's the rubber ducky. That'll allow you to do a power move. It fully charges, see, and then his shield is gone. Now we can make much easier work in. Let's heal up. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I didn't miss any colored. Doesn't look like I did. Just keep our eyes open. All right. And what is this open for us? Bronze gauntlets. More power and more defense. We'll take that. Looking pretty dapper. Do we find all the box of light? No, we still have quite a bit more to find. And we, there are six chests in total. Oh, interesting. So now we can get back to the recharge a little easier. Let's get all the way down here. Oh, and right back at the beginning, even. So once you get to a certain point, you're able to shortcut around pretty easily. What do we have here? Sure, we want to lower the bridge. Cutting the ropes sounds like a great idea. Let's see, do we see any numbers up there? No. Okay, there's no way up. Doesn't seem to be any hidden doors. Little owl up there. Okay, we were right about here. Don't see any numbers. Uh, what's that? Yeah, that's our box light. Stop it right here. All right, we got a one. That looks like blue. I can't tell if that's blue or light blue, but we'll put it down as blue. Oh shoot, that's a 
green zero, but we didn't have a green. Right, we're just gonna have to run. Oh, what's over here? Oh, hello. Feel like there's a number here and we're not just not seeing it. Hey guy. I need to get to that chest. Bronze Aegeus. Cause this looks light blue. But I'm really not sure. It doesn't look like a number at all. So looking for light blue and purple. More defense. All right, let's turn these back on. Ah, oh, shoot. think this controls. Hmm. All right, we'll just put them both on for now. Oh, it releases a platform. Okay. Ah. All right, since we seem to be done with those, we can just stop it in the middle. Thing. Do we see any numbers? No. Oh. Okay, we found the portal. We've got a bronze helmet. So that just takes us back to the portal hub. We don't need to go through there. And there's still a chest out there that we haven't found. All right, our last chest, and we saw it before we um, started messing around with those levers. If you go back here where those two platforms are, this last chest is right here. And that'll let us upgrade to the bronze sword. It's not going to help me now, but if you see this video before you play it, that's where you can find it. All right, and as you can see here, there are still two colors that I haven't been able to find, but there's only so many combinations. Um, since if you go up to the keypad here, there's only one through four, and there's only so many combinations. So through trial and error, uh, well, if we look, we see that we have the three and the one. The light blue, even though I didn't find it, it was a two. And the same thing with the purple through trial and error, it's a one. And then the black two, which is right there, is the final character. So there you go. Uh, that pretty much does it for this experience. Hopefully you got something out of it. If you did, please leave a like for the video. Uh, if you want to be updated when I release additional gaming videos, uh, both Sandbox and I do a number of survival games, please consider subscribing. And as always, thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. Uh, really appreciate it. And we'll see you back here soon.